So now what happens? I almost pressed the button again for switching to the 3DS full screen thing, Rebob. A truly ginormous Goomba planet coin awarded. Well, all right. Well, I'll... Did my game freeze? Oh, no, it was just that. Gold prism obtained. Oh! So I guess doing battles like this get you gold prism? You just unlocked your first gold prism. You can use it to unlock the spark branch for any hero's skill tree. So that's what that last thing is. The spark branch, huh? But I have to decide who gets it? But... So I only have the one. Unlock spark branch. Spend a gold prism for this hero and unlock the spark branch. It contains skills that enhance the power of equipped sparks. Note that gold prisms cannot be refunded once spent. Huh. So I assume that there's probably one gold prism in this game for each character. One each. In that case, right? I'm still spending things in uh, the regular skill tree here, so I probably don't need to worry about that for the, uh, for the sparks yet. I'll probably come to a decision later, but I probably want to do it for one of my mainstays, like Rabbit Peach or something like that. One of the characters that I'm using more frequently, you know. Also, I do have a skill point that I can assign. Um, team barrier range, cooldown, charge. Um, the thing or Bob about that. That could be good on Rabbit Mario, combined with his uh, counter blow. Five meters isn't, like, super large of a range. So basically just be those that are up close to Rabbit Mario or something like that. Um, yeah, that's a... Uh, the logic of Breath of the Wild in a nutshell. He just kind of chills there. Uh, one team barrier charge of attack defeats an enemy. That can be schnice and can let me, you know, get in there a bit more. Flyer shot. Uh, the damage drop off. Weapon damage is always good. Movement range is always schnice. I would have to get wider shot before being able to get that. So I can always just unlock something simple like glide boost for now. And then, you know, unlock something spicier later. Movement range is always good. Critical hit chance. Weapon damage. Can't go wrong with that. Um, attacking does not end movement phase. Oh yeah, I was going to want to eventually get that. Was the case. Um, I could... Extra dash. I mean, if I refund that, I can do this. I can get no limits. And then that would mean that he can punch and then dip out. I should have done that for the... Uh, I should have done that before this past battle. Whoops. That would have helped me a lot, being able to punch and dip out. Gosh dang it. I'll eventually get no limits on every character, but Rabbid Mario is probably one of the best ones to get on early with because his range is just so limited. So being able to do that massive up-close damage and dip out is huge. You know. Um, so let's see here. Plus 5% damage per hit can be schnice. Um, weapon range, critical hit chance, storm blade damage, storm blade range, additional storm blade charge. Ooh. Could be neat. Um... We can probably just go for something simple like Glide Boost right now. That's what we can do. May as well. Mario here. He does have the jump shot. I'm wondering if I should just, you know, get the uh, get the stomp for now instead. Maybe. Yeah. There's some pretty decently strong things here. Stomp and glide. Yeah. Extra stomps. Hmm. We can unlock the stomp for now and Glide Boost. He really is the GOAT. So being able to let him do his massive damage and dip out should be huge. So yeah, everyone- wait, everyone does have a no limits thing, right? Oh, maybe not everyone does. Hold on, whoa, 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 wait. Rabbid Mario has that, does not end movement phase. Oh, is it just Rabbid Mario? For whatever reason, I had in my head that it's something that everyone would get. No, that's just a Rabbid Mario thing. Of, uh, attacking does not end movement phase. Huh. Wow, I'm a, I'm a little bit silly. Yeah, that's just a Rabbit Mario exclusive thing. Okay. Gotcha then. So I have Peach here. Um, weapon damage will heal yourself. Is the case. Weapon range can't go wrong with that. Um, but I would have to refund from something else. So probably just, you know, chill out for now. Is what we can do. That's just free damage there, so I'll just put into that for now. Um, Luigi, critical hit damage. Um, I need another point for weapon range. I could always take out the uh, movement range and give him another, uh, another weapon range. Sure, let's do that for now. And then Rabbit Luigi here. Can't go wrong with weapon damage, but I can't afford it yet. Is a thing, unless I refunded movement range a decent bit. You know. Oh, he also has an extra health thing. This is a temporary thing, I guess. 
<laughs> Alright, I'm taking away one of the movement ranges. Gosh dang it. Yes. That. And let's do the second weapon damage. Yeah, so now it's 175 to 205. Heck yeah, more weapon damage. Okay. But yeah, so gold, uh... Gold prisms. Interesting. I am rather intrigued. As I said, I would imagine that Ubisoft Connect... Ubisoft Connect level up units are... Okay. Like I was saying earlier, I do imagine that there's probably only one of those per character. So I'll wait until it feels like I really need it and then use it on someone that I know I'm really going to want it on. One of the uh, super common characters. I mean, probably can't go wrong with using it on someone like Rabbit Peach or something, right? That I'm using pretty frequently. Not every battle. Like, I didn't use her this battle, for example. But a lot of battles I'm using her. I'm very tempted to use it. <laughs> Because you can't go wrong with the character that you're using all the freaking time, right? Rabbit Peach is a really good one for longevity. Should I just do it? Because I feel like using that on her is a character that I definitely wouldn't regret. Because, you know, I use her so frequently. Hmm. Hmm. Come on. Select the skill tree thing, Rabob. Come on. Select the, uh, skill tree here. She's probably the character that I use the most frequently in a party setup. Let's just see what the spark tree is like then. Gold prism can be used to unlock a spark branch in a hero's skill branches that can't be refined once spent. Are you sure you want to spend a gold prism to unlock this hero's spark branch? I'm doing it. So this is what it looks like then. So I assume everyone's would look like this. I mean, it could just, it, maybe it's different for everyone. Um, at the first turn, a spark has a 25% chance to gift a random item. Okay, that would just help with grinding in the long term because it just means that you're going to get it. So the sooner you unlock this skill, the more items that you're going to be getting, right? Is the thing. She probably doesn't need HP chill out since she's the actual healer. So she can be doing that. Is the case spark refresher. After activation, each spark has a 35% chance to avoid the cooldown. Spark guard. A spark has a 30% chance to heal a, to save a hero from a death blow. Spark energy when uses spark has a 25% chance of granting a new action point. Huh. So it's nothing that's definitive. It's just a whole bunch of things that, hey, this is a chance of being something that helps you. But this will be something that'll help with grinding in the long run. Is the case <laughs> there. Um, keep mentioning Link Sword being in the sleeping woods. Is that something you have to go your way to find, or do you get from story stuff? The literally the only mandatory story stuff in the entire game is the Great Plateau tutorial at the beginning, and then go defeat Ganon. There's nothing else in the entire game that's really story stuff, honestly. Um, but just go to the Lost Woods at the north of the map. But you might need to look up a guide for how to get through it because it's hella confusing. Basically, you follow the torches slash the trees with the open mouths, but it's super confusing and wind up getting sent back to the beginning a whole lot. But it's just the woods at the north of the map, essentially. Alright, yeah, that's interesting. So I should just get a uh, item from time to time now right so now we can use the other two coins here because i did the one for defeating goombas off camera and then we just got the other one now so level up any spark with this delicious celestial beverage wait you can buy however many then so let's get the last lore thing that i'm missing i think that's strange that they would let me buy multiple ones for multiple planet coins instead of just a one off because I think that this is as many planet coins as are available here. So if you got multiple star potions, would that mean that you just can't get the other lore entries and things? Oh no, there must still be one planet coin. I see now, so it only let me go up to two. I thought that was one planet coin, and you get two star potions. So there's still one planet coin here somewhere. Somewhere or other. Maybe it'll unlock sometime later. Is what it must be. Side quests. Yeah. So there's something else. The case. There's something else that isn't shown yet. Wait. Unless that was the, um, blue coin thing, Rabob. Wait. No, side quests. Truly ginormous Goomba. No, I completed the blue coin challenge. So I've done all the tasks here. Looks like you're gonna replay them at any time, which is pretty cool. I do like that. Huh. So what's the new lore entry that we got? Is it gonna come up with a prompt for me to see it? No. <laughs> Alright, I guess I'm just gonna have to check it manually? Some memories. Let's see here. I can't press left and right to go down faster. 
so Goombas is the thing that we got. Goombas are even more menacing under Curse's supervision. Seems like. Thankfully, they are still Goombas. <laughs> A single dash can hit multiples of them. Yet Curse's cunning is always present. Some of them wear dark mess infused cooking pots that dark make them immune to weapons pots. or physical attacks. <laughs> Only by launching them outside the boundaries of a battlefield can they be defeated. Yeah, they're a bit irksome to deal with, aren't they? They most certainly can be. Alright, back to World 2 now. We got our first spark branch, which is Perd and Nido. Yeah, so all main objectives complete here. Almost done with all the side quests, but maybe something will unlock in post game or something. And we're making some good progress in pristine peace. Jammin. So, in terms of progress in Pristine Peaks, we're halfway done with the main objective. And a little bit less than half done with the side quests. So, well, I'll probably do some more of the side quests later. I think I'm going to commit to main objective stuff right now. Because I want to work up towards unlocking these new party members. And I hope that it would be, like, here or something. What are those arrows pointing towards over there? If you're watching a Breath of the Wild play this, think you were far enough not to get spoiled. But nah, there's an epic glitch to go straight to Hyrule, I assume Hyrule Castle. Thank goodness there's still Goombas, indeed. I have two Breath of the Wild playthroughs, both in the same playlist. I have a 10-part series that was just a 24-hour uh, charity stream, like, joke speedrun shenanigans. And then, like, an actual serious playthrough after that that has, like, 130 parts or something ridiculous. So if you don't want those spoilers, you can always just, you know, skip the first 10 and go to part 1 of playthrough 2. Because, yeah, I technically have two playthroughs of, uh, <laughs> of, of Breath of the Wild there. One of which was a speedrun beating it in one sitting. Zoom into the end. And the second time was actually a full playthrough. So, there's that. But they're both in the same playlist. Is the case. So, yeah, that's the one of the Flamin' Stooges. So I can go do that, like, whenever. Don't know what to do about that. What's this? Huh? I want in too. I'm gonna adjust the volume a little bit on OBS, I think, though. <laughs> he looks like a respectable figure, doesn't he? Great horn spoon, the girl. She's still inside the Winter Palace, the poor thing. Who did this? Hang me for a cheese sniffer, son. I tried to haul her to safety, but I was pushed out. As if by an unseen hand. Captain Orion, huh? No, she's prisoner. She's held prisoner by something that grows dark. More dark and twisted by the second. Like a noodle eel or tussled wobble gog. It's a dark mess tentacle. We've dealt with him before, Mr. Um... <laughs> That's Captain Orion. Acting Warden of Pristine Peaks. Snowflake emoji. My friends call me Two Nets. You can call me Captain Orion. Oh, if the girl that I docked here when my boat ran out of fuel. I thought it safe as it was all abandoned. If only. Captain, once we're inside, you need only to follow us to find your friend. Also, just for the record, that's a push door, not a pull. <laughs> Neither here nor there. She's held prisoner. By something that grows more dark and twisted by the second. Like a noodle. <laughs> okay, so it wasn't even locked. He just... <laughs> he just wasn't pushing it the right way. Yeah, it's a push door. <laughs> so, what's going on in the Great Chateau? Oh, it's no immediate cutscene. What's your palace? Abolish puddle in the palace entry hall. Oh, do we have a guest character now with the captain? I guess. Okay. Um, that's on sale there. Yeah, I probably want to save up for the midwinter key first and foremost. Is the case. And those are the weapon skins here. So, we're gonna do this first. A cold greeting. Alright. I think I titled one of the Majora's Mask parts something along those lines. I think I, cut, I, think I titled it Cold Encounters. And the beginning of the snowy area in that game. Fairly certain. Alright, a cold greeting. Oh, look how cool this looks! Maps in this game are really cool. I mean, this is 
cool, both literally and figuratively. Oh, a new spark? So this is going to be the Flame Dash one then, right? Pyrogeddon. Pardon me, just wondering if you ever faced Sea Stooges before. I have, yes. The Dash has a splash super effect that'll bounce you hard. You're going to want to bring the electric super effect here. Afterwards, each time you're hit or dashed again before the turn is over, you'll bounce again. That's called being splashed. That's a lot of bouncing, I know. But if you win, I get to leave with you. How's that for motivation? Alright, so... I am I think I am going to want to bring Edge here. With the, uh... With the shocking dash. Is the case. Um... Does it say how many dashes you have right now? Yeah, three. So I haven't brought up the four yet. And then, I don't know, maybe Rabid Luigi with the, uh... Shock attack, maybe? Um, yeah, it's, it's been really, really cool. This game overall has been, like, you know, when you think, it's so crazy, because when you think Rabbids, you'll think maybe a game of mini games and something that's not super duper high quality, just kind of is par for the course. But when Ubisoft was like, all right, we got to pull out all the stops because this might be the only time we ever get to make a Mario game, you know? And they do pull out all the stops. It's like, wow, that's a, uh, that's cool to see. And it really goes to show the potential of Nintendo giving their IPs to other studios to work on. Because these other studios are going to be like, holy crap, we got to make a Mario game. We got to pull out all the stops and then make really awesome games like this, you know? So, I'd say Edge for sure. Hmm. Maybe Mario, actually. There's They're only in pairs here. So, there's 12 total. So, that's 2, 4, 6, 8. So, where are the other ones? Maybe they spawn with reinforcements? No, it's just defeat 12 enemies. It's not like defeat all enemies and then 0 to 12. Okay. So there will be reinforcements. But yeah, Mario can shoot too. And if they're only in pairs, Mario would be... <laughs> There's the pizza slice eating. Then maybe I should bring Mario in that a case. And then he can shoot two of them at once. And then the most standard thing would be bring a rabbit peach just for someone to heal. That's probably the most standard party setup that I can do. So, yeah, let's go ahead and do, say, this. Like that. That seems like a pretty good party set for this, I think. Yeah. That'll be really cool. We'll be awesome if Nintendo was a cooler company, but alas. Um, so let's see here. You do have the shock attack currently. I'm going to want the shock dash on edge here. And then am I going to want the positioning one or something else? So there's the gust attack. I'm probably going to want the uh, the buff back, turbo charge, like that. Um, yeah, maybe the gust attack. Shock dash, unseen can be good for positioning, but do I really need it here? I could always go with the toxic thing, Rebob, since, uh, you know, we might be getting in enemy's faces, potentially. I don't know how useful the unseen is going to be here. So, I'm going to go ahead and do this, I think. So, uh, maybe in a different universe. Maybe games like this will really show Nintendo, huh, maybe we should use, let other game companies work with our IPs more often. Maybe we should, uh, maybe we should do that. Because <laughs> they don't like making money. Yeah. Like, they get to make some revenue just by, you know, saying, yes, you can work with our IP. You know, like someone else has to do the work. Maybe they supply some publishing money, but, you know, assuming the game's successful, they, uh, they make bank without actually having to make real effort on their part, since it's another studio working on it, you know? So that'd be one of the best ways to, uh, make money, at least in a case like this, you know, where, you know, where it's a crossover with Ubisoft owning Rabbids. If it was another studio working on it, and it's not a crossover, then it would be, you know, Nintendo's gonna have to supply, you know, a lot more publishing money in that case. I don't know what the distribution would be like in a situation like this where it's a crossover. Like, would it be completely supplied by Ubisoft to figure it out? Maybe a smidge by Nintendo? And it's always just like, yep, we give you the go-ahead to make a crossover with your IP and our IP. Or, uh, something like that. I don't know. Who knows? Um, and then I should probably do something that helps out the team. Like that, in case it comes down to it, you know. So what I should probably do. Probably not a bad idea. So yeah, everyone has one for doing damage, and, uh, wait, I could always put on an attack super effect, is what I could actually do here. Because this is dashing, and then we could have an attack one. So we wouldn't want it to be splash if we did that. We could always put on Pyro Star, though. 
is what we could do and get them moving, which could pair well with Mario's hero sight. Do I currently have that skill that gives him more charges when he kills with hero sight? I don't think I do yet. Additional hero sight charge. Yeah, so he has two charges, but sight again is going to... Uh, wait, can I get sight again? I currently have the stomp, and that's three. Oh! If I choose not to have that uh, jump shot or the stomp right now, we can actually do sight again. And then if... Uh, if Edge, I don't know why I was forgetting the name there, gets them moving with the fire thing, Bob, with the fire emoji, then Mario can maybe get those kills and get additional charges. Maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. They don't... The water dudes don't resist fire, do they? Let's find out. I'll switch on my sparks if so. Um, weak to shock, resistant to splash. Okay, so they just resist their own thing. Gotcha. Alright, yeah, we can probably go with this. Mario, Rabbit Peach, and Edge. I like that idea. So then. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Mario time! I don't know why that I got so high pitched at the end. It's more like a Mario time! Something. Gosh dang, I can't do it. I'm not even gonna try anymore. Um, so let's see here. So we'll go ahead and shock dash. Wait, should I turbocharge here? Does this affect dashes and stuff? More damage with attacks and movement abilities. Uh. So if we do say that, maybe before I use the dashes here, how much range would I have coming out of here? I'm curious. Not a whole lot. I'm probably going to want to just make sure that these guys get taken out. Probably Crash Bandicoot and Ratchet and Clank would make good crossovers with Nintendo IPs. Yeah, those would probably be really fitting things, actually. As soon as the characters anyway don't know about gameplay ideas. Yeah, well, it came to a Mario plus Rabbids crossover idea. It's like, okay, what the heck kind of gameplay would Mario plus Rabbids be? Like, how would that be? And then they just made a freaking XCOM, like, tactical RPG. For whatever reason. I forgot to put the thing on. So, you know, they could just do something completely different that neither IP has done before. Like, that's what they did here. You know, neither one of these IPs have done it before. Also, speaking of crossovers, the uh, the Rabbids originally came into the picture with Rayman Raving Rabbids. So, with a Rayman game. Gosh dang it, I gotta see this again. Um, and before this game released, they actually announced that one of the DLC characters that'll be coming to this game later down the line is gonna be Rayman. So, that'll be really cool. It'll be the first time that, uh, you know, Mario and Rayman are ever on the same screen there. So, in terms of other cool crossovers, you know, Rabbids is basically just a part of Rayman, you could say. Like an offshoot, essentially. But it is cool to properly see, you know, Rayman getting some love here coming up. So, that'll be, uh, that'll be cool. So, let's see. Oh, yeah. Look at that. We can probably just kill with two dashes then, huh? Oh, wow. One death. So, alright, we don't have to be here anymore. Oh, I can't go out that way. Can Rabbit Peach make it to the other one there? No, not quite. Hmm. Hmm. So I'm definitely looking forward to that one that eventually releases. So let's see here. So they both have about the same movement. Yeah, that's the exact same movement coming out of the pipe. Um, so I probably don't want to do the electric attack here. I can probably just say... Something like this. And then we go ahead and, uh, dash. Like that. And then... Oh. I can do this while they're still in the middle of being zippity-zapped? Wait! Oh, gosh dang it. I can't switch to Mario right now. It would have been cool if I could switch to Mario and then, uh, pew pew. But alas. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Can we kill, though? Will it kill? Will it blend? It will not. Just barely. What's your range look like here, Rabbit Peach? Cool. Let's do it. There we go. Dead. Alright, this has worked out pretty darn well here so far. Let's try and be safe. Let's go for both the 50-50s. I lost both the 50-50s. Sucks to suck. 
Yeah, I can't Stormblade here anymore. All right, pass the turn. All right, that was a really good turn one, I think. I think that was a really solid turn one. Oh, you have a 100% chance of attacking there. The whole reason I went there is because I thought it was safe. All right, not as good of a turn one as I thought then. Not quite. Well, now, Rabbit Peach can make it through this way. And we can say... Get over here. Go over this away. Can I make it to the pipe? I can. Wow. Okay. So we can probably get everyone over to the pipe in that case, right? So let's see here. So we have free reign to position over there, however we see fit. So what is the situation going on over here anyway? These guys have put themselves in the open to an attack from the rear, right? Hmm. It's one or the other, huh? But not both. That's really quite unfortunate, isn't it? It's not like I can team jump again. Wow. What weird positioning. Wait, but I can go up here, right? Yeah, I can go up there. And then I can shoot both of them with the shock effect. Is what I could do. Okay. Do we just want to unload our dashes on that guy first? I mean, if we position ourselves over here, I don't think he's going to go through the pipe. So maybe we'll unload our dashes on this guy instead. That's what I'm thinking here. And we'll just come back for you later. Music's so that good. Yeah, we'll be back for you another time here. Meanwhile, we're going to see what we can do over here. Is the plan. So let's see here. Time to dash you a few times. Okay. No turbocharge or anything. But if we chill here and we go ahead and shock attack. Like this. And then we pew. Pew. Like that. And Edge hasn't used her team jump yet. Which means that we have free reign to do this. And get to a position like this. That gives me a few options. One charge. Would they come into that range? I do a little bit of extra damage like this. It might be enough to kill if I do. Since I don't resist the burn anyway. I'll go for it. I'll go for it here. I mean, they'll be put into a bad position anyway. Is the thing. Too bad I can't activate Mario's hero site here since I already used a shock attack. Yeah, now they're all burned and stuff. Is the case. Alright, not enough to kill both of them, but it did get one. Which is still pretty good there. Can we kill that guy? Wow, we can't. Time to eat a hit point blank. We'll kill this guy for now in that case. I don't know why I'm going for cover like this then. Anyway, we'll eat a hit. Hopefully not to edge. Hopefully someone else distribute the damage a little bit. And then we can use the healing thing. Alright, that's fine. But yeah. <laughs> There's a great feeling there. Alright. So we'll get ready. Here. Now might actually be the time to activate Stormblade. If they think about getting close. They might not even get into this range, though. They might not. Alright, let's go ahead and do this now. Like that. Some heals. Okay. And then, there's gonna be no one else to dash this turn, unless we, you know, went out to the other side there. Wow. Really not enough. So, I guess we could have saved that dash and done some weapon damage and then had another dash to use over. Oh, never mind. Not over there. Whoops. I messed up. I would have done a dash into him and then just dipped out to the other side here. That's what I would have done. But alas. So, maybe we just say... 
try to murderize these guys as they emerge. This is what we can try to do. Do that. I don't think this guy is going to be able to reach all the way across to there, is he? Yeah, your attack does not reach there. It's just the edge of that top bit. And since I don't think you're going through a pipe, you're just going to be big chilling there. I'm fairly certain. So then we go ahead and hero sight here. See if we can murderize any of them. And then just because even though we are doing this, we are still in a little bit of a semi-vulnerable position. So just to be safe, we'll do that. And Rabbit Peach can just kind of be here on standby. Will be the case. Yeah. It's one of those invincible portals. Not like I would want to take it out anyway since we need to defeat so many enemies. But you're not going to be able to make it over to the other pipe yet. Is it just one enemy spawning? Was this a little bit of overkill then? Well, you did splash dash me. Oh, but you didn't move anymore. That wasn't a whole lot of damage that you did to me. Not a whole lot. Um, okay, so I guess I probably just wasted my hero sight there. In that case. Dang. Well. Well. You know. You're still alive? You live? Does this cover here? Does that count? Not quite. Alright, let's just wait for this guy. How about? Sure. Sure. You're not even coming over here yet. Alright, so another Judo spawns. Like that. I'm gonna go for Rabbit Peach. It's fine. Alright, here come more Dudos. So then. So we just needed to defeat 12, right? Was the case, and what are we at? 8. Hmm. Hmm. So, what if? And this is a big if. Off you go. Something like that. And then the others can team jump over. This is the case. So they can use Rabbit Peach as a means to get through the pipe. Hey! So, go down around here. And then... Same kind of deal. Go down around here. Is it enough movement to dash these guys? I assume not. Yeah, it's not. But I won't bother with that here. But Mario can electric shoot both of them. Will be the case. And we should be able to kill this guy over here, even. Rabbit Peach might just be chilling over here for now. I mean, we can all go over to the other side. If I use the electric dash here, I can use that exclusively to kill this guy. And then, uh, you know, be able to use the sword on some guys on the other side. Even if I don't use all my dashes, you know. Yeah, that gives us a little bit of maneuverability here. So, this is what we're gonna do. Gonna go over here. Yeah, 100% on both of them. So let's go ahead and shock attack, and we can use one shot on both of them. So let's see here. So yes. Yes. Pew pew! Nice. And then, Edge can attack one, and then Rabbit Peach the other. Okay. So let's do that. Bam. Dead Zoe. I guess she's out in the open. Yeah, well. Should have gone around this cover there. I guess it doesn't really matter where we are on the cover here. I mean, I guess it'll slightly matter for the guy that spawns over there, but it won't matter for the guy that spawns over here. We basically have this in the bag now, so whatever. I can't use the uh, spark for damage here anyway. So I won't be able to attack. Big sad, you're not dead. Let's face it, it was a... It was a good play, though. It would have been even better if, uh, 
If that guy had died, but we'll win this next turn. Would be the case. I can go kill that guy. After. We'll just dash through here. Or we can kill that guy. Darn you. Is that it? No problemo. Is my heal up? May as well do it so we have more health coming out of the battle. May as well. Less coins I have to pay for that. Hashtag healing journey. So then... Yeah, we can go pretty far here. So we do that. And then we dash. And then we dash. And then we dash. And then... We do this. Yeah, so he's the last guy that I need to defeat to uh, win the battle. And then we pew pew! Like that! Okay. Okie dokie! Sweet. Sweet. Almost level 15. Cool. Look at all these yellow sparks. We got the whole yellow gang together here. 